Hey there, are you a small business that hates Facebook and you do not see any value whatsoever with Facebook? Or maybe you've tried Facebook ads and you're just not seeing any kind of traction with them and anything you've done on Facebook just is not leading to anything. Well, today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how you could be using Facebook wrong and let's talk about the right way to use Facebook in order for you to blow up your business. Hey, Badass Business Owners, my name is Tammy, and I'm here to help you grow your business, but not just your sales. My goal is to help you grow your profits because at the end of the day, the goal is about making money. Now, Facebook is one of those things that people either love it or they hate it, but the sad reality is a lot of our ideal customers are on Facebook. Facebook has become one of those hangouts for a lot of people of certain age groups, and those certain age groups also are the ones that typically are making the decisions in the household And they are people that have a certain amount of money that they can spend on types of businesses. And honestly, it's also the first place that a lot of people go when they're looking for a recommendation. They hop on Facebook and they ask the crowd, they ask their community, they ask their friends, who would they recommend? And the goal is how do we get you in front of those people? Now, the first thing you have to understand is you don't need to be buying ads. You don't need to be doing that. But at the same time, believe it or not, It's not about you having a good Facebook page. You want to have a decent Facebook page because people are going to land there. They're going to want to look up you and they're going to want to know what your hours are, what your products and services are and stuff like that. So yes, I want you to have a good page in Facebook that is more of a landing page where people can go to just to learn more about your business. But that's not what you're going to be doing. No, you are going to become a member of the community. Now, let me talk about several of the different things that I think that you should be doing when you're on Facebook. By the way, I do not want you going down the Facebook rabbit hole. I do not want you going down where next thing you know, you go on for 10, 15 minutes, and now you're on there for a half hour to an hour. That's not the goal. The goal is to be very strategic about what it is that you are doing on Facebook. First and foremost, every single one of you, whether you have a big town or a little town, big city, little city, whatever you want to call it, more than likely you have community pages. These community pages may be by subdivision, by suburbs, might be by, you know, don't try to do the big thing. So for example, I'm part of the Phoenix metro area. I'm south of Phoenix, but the Phoenix, Phoenix metro area has a lot of cities. And then there's a lot of little towns within that as well. So what you want to do is you want to try to find the area that's within that five mile to 10 mile radius that I'm always talking to people about that you really want to own, right? So you want to be part of those community pages that service those specific areas that you want to do. And here's what you're going to do. You're just going to be part of the community. You're going to be responding to Facebook posts that people have on there. You're just going to be a regular Joe that's responding, but you're also going to be somebody that's posting things like, for example, before and after pictures. Now I'm not telling you to be salesy. Please do not be salesy, but I want you to be excited about your business. Oh my gosh, look at this place that we just went to. And this is what their backyard looked at like before we got there. And this is what the backyard looks afterwards. This is what their carpets look like before we got there. This is what it looked like afterwards. This is what the backyard looked like when it was full of poop. And this is what it looks like when it's not, or here's this leak that somebody had. And this is what it looks like now, whatever the case may be, just people love before and after pictures. So share the before and after pictures and not just saying, Hey, look at me, look at me, look what we did, but just more of saying, Hey, what do you like? What do you think? Did, how did it come out? ask their opinion, get them engaged with your post to say, you know, do you like the before? Or do you like the after? Or maybe you put a picture of something and you say, what would you do with it? And then later you come back and you say, this is what we did with it. Just have fun with it and get people to be part of the dialogue. So think of it this way. You're not really going to be telling them about your business, but you're showing them about your business. You're letting them see what's possible. So for example, yesterday I was having a conversation with the landscaper who happens to do this pretty well. And one of the things that is really great great for him is that when he shows the before, it happens to look like a lot of other people's backyard, whether it's dirt, whether it's just some rock, very plain. And then he shows them what he's done with it. And what happens is people start thinking and dreaming what theirs could look like as well. And what happens is they start reaching out to him going, hey, can can I get a quote? Can you talk to me about what I can do to my backyard? And he gets a lot of business that way. He actually gets more business from his Facebook stuff than he does any of the other advertising that he does. And I know a few other people that are the exact same way. I've seen people blow up their business just by being part of the community and people getting to know them. Because here's what happens. Mary Jane gets on there and says, hey, who's some, does anybody know a great plumber? Well, if somebody on there already knows of a great plumber and it's somebody that's part of the community, then they're going to go, oh my gosh, you got to totally use so-and-so. 
Now they may never have used so and so before before that moment, but because they really like this person who's been on Facebook and been in the community and everything else, they start recommending them. I watched a mechanic in our local area do that exact same thing. So many people had never used them, but what happened is because he was part of the community, everybody started recommending them. And then what happened is people would use them. Now you had people jumping in that not only thought really good of him from Facebook, but then had used them. And now he's got both people really singing his praises and it really blew up his business. But there's a lot of different people out there that use Facebook really well. And I challenge you, watch your community pages and watch some of the other business owners that do it really well, because really what you're doing is you're building your brand. You're getting people to know your brand. You're getting to know about you. So now people are recommending you personally, and you just happen to do this, or because they're seeing the stuff that you're doing and the, and the, the pictures that you're sharing or whatever it is that you're doing. You know, yesterday I was talking to someone who does furniture. What a great thing to do. If you're refinishing furniture, now you're showing the furniture before and you're showing the furniture after. There's all kinds of different things that you can do. If you think about it, people that are on Instagram, they're doing that all the time, right? Before and after pictures. People, it's all about pictures uh, in, in the visuals of things. Uh, same thing with like TikTok and stuff like that. They're showing people how to do something. It's visuals. So Facebook, you can even show short videos of different things that you've done. And once again, it's not about you bragging about the business. It's more of you bringing them into the experience of what it is that you did or what it is that you can do. Uh, even if it's something weird that you do, I mean, you could do septic tanks and pump them out and you can have posts that talk about the fact, and you're talking directly to those people, because I guarantee you there's a community page out there for the people that live on acreage or have um, septic tanks and stuff like that. So you need to find the tribe within your local community and you need to just talk to them and you need to share with them. One of the biggest takeaways that I really want you to come away with is I just want you to be you. Do not try to be something you're not. Be very authentic. People can read through that and they can see through that. And your goal is how to get them to fall in love with you, the person who happens to run this other particular business that you run. And this way, what they're doing is they're buying into you and then they're going to buy into your business. And you're going to show them through those other posts that you do that what your business does and what it's capable of and everything else. And jump in and answer questions. Don't expect them to use you. If somebody asks a question about your, you know, not necessarily about your business, but about something that you happen to know, answer the question. It doesn't make, they, maybe they can fix it themselves. Now you're just being a person of value and saying, hey, you know, maybe they're talking about their, their water bill has gone up through the roof. Well, just hop on there and say, hey, one of the things you might want to do is you might want to go check out all your toilets and see if any of them are running because you can lose X amount of gallons every single day. And that might be causing it to go up. You don't have to sit there and say, hey, I can come out to your house and I can fix whatever plumbing problem you have because you've got a leak, da, da, da. Don't be that person. Be that person of value. And then what will happen is they'll remember that because they might go and they go, oh my God, my toilet is totally running. That's amazing. Hey, you happen to be a plumbing guy. Can you, can, is it possible for you can come fix this for me? Or how easy is this to fix? You know, you can do things like that where you give value and don't worry about being the person that is, use me, use me, use me. And yesterday also we had a, I had a conversation with somebody and they had a great point. Sometimes people don't read the question that somebody's asking, like they're asking for a specific thing. Um, and this one that came up yesterday happened to be about plumbing and they were, they were asking a very specific question of, does somebody know a good plumber? And everybody kept just rattling off all the different things as opposed to what this one plumbing person did is they actually reached out to them in the private messages saying, Hey, we're, we're a plumbing company. What, what's wrong? What, how can we help? And it was more of, they did it from a point of, they listened to the exact question because the person didn't ask for a referral per se, and I'm wording it the wrong way, but it was worded a certain way that this person caught on to what they were asking. And they went out of their way to make sure that they answered the actual question that the person was asking. And guess what? They got the job. They got the job because they were listening and they were reading correctly what it is that this person needed. And that's what I want to challenge you to do. I want you to use Facebook in a way that really is just one of service, of one of where you're just part of the community. And what's going to happen is your name is going to get out there in the community. People are going to talk about you. They're going to be tagging you on stuff. They're going to be saying, hey, you might want to check out this company. And when you see that, you hop on that and you get on there and you just see what was the original question and how can you serve? Because I think if you find that if you just get involved in Facebook and be part of the community, you're going to find that it is a tremendous tool for you to be able to use. You just have to be using it the right way. It's not about you just blasting them with ads. It's not about you just getting on there saying, me, 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 this is what I do, 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 do. No, it's about being part of the community as a human being, 
someone who cares about the community, then it's about you adding value to the topics and things that you know about. And then it's about you sharing the excitement about the things that you do, the people that you help, and just being authentic about it. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm totally excited because this happened. Or, hey, I just really need to share this because I think that people are going to love it. You know, if you want to drop in one out of eight, one out of 10 is a sale saying, by the way, if you know anybody that needs X service, I've got a couple openings next week. I would love to be able to help some people out. Or you might say, hey, I'm giving away a free whatever to a veteran. So if you know a vet that would be in need of having their um, air conditioner serviced, then just tag them right here. Let us know. We would love to be able to help some uh, a needing family for Christmas. We're going to help out five families at Christmas time. Uh, you know, you reach out to us, feel free to DM us, whatever. You're being part of the community and you're showing that you care about the community. There's all kinds of things that you can do there that I think will really help your branding in your community didn't cost you a dime. You're going to find you're going to get all kinds of business. It's just about being consistent with it. And you can do it all for 20, 30 minutes a day. I promise you it's not that bad. And I know some of this isn't going to work for some of you guys, but for others of you, I think you're going to find that it really is a great avenue for you to be able to grow your business. And if you want to learn more things about how you can grow your business, check out these other videos where we talk about ways for you to grow your business, not just your sales, but those profits so you can make more money. I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.